Hi, would you like your home hair color to rival that of beautiful hair color walking out of famous salons all over the world? Of course you would. My name is Beverly Thompson and I'm here today to help you achieve that very same beautiful hair color in the comfort of your own home. This video is about why a basic understanding of the color wheel and undertones is an important first step in achieving that end. Come on, let's color some hair. To begin, determine the natural shade of your hair color. In hair color lingo, shades are referred to as levels. So we want to determine the level of your natural hair color. Next, the level of the color that you would like to achieve must be determined. This is a color chart that shows how hair color lightens and then the levels that are associated with it. Black is a level one to two, very dark brown, three to four, dark brown is level five, medium brown is level six, light brown is level seven, Dark blonde is level eight. Medium blonde is level nine. Light blonde is level 10. And very light blonde is level 11 and 12. For the purpose of this video, let's assume that your hair is a level six, medium brown, and that you would like to achieve a level eight dark blonde. If you apply a level 8 dark blonde to your level 6 medium brown hair color, you will end up with a level 7 light brown. There is a mathematical formula that helps you see exactly where your hair color will take you. And that is if you add the level of your natural color to the level that you would like to achieve, 6 and 8 equals 14, divided by 2 equals 7 light brown. But now we had decided that you wanted a level 8 dark blonde. In order to get that, you need to come all the way over here to a number 10 light blonde. 10 and 6 are 16 divided by 2 equals 8 which will give you your dark blonde. And so the next thing we want to do is find the undertone for the color that we're going to achieve which is dark blonde and that undertone is gold. So, turning our attention to the color wheel, we want to find the base of number eight, which is gold. Gold and orange are in the same category. And trace our finger all the way across to blue. Now, obviously you're not going to be putting blue hair color on your hair. But if you look for your number 10 in a ash, smoky, or beige, what you'll have is a number 10 color with a blue base, and that will help counter the gold that will come about as a result of lightening your hair to that level. Contrarily, if you want to have a golden blonde, then you don't want to counteract it. Look for a number 10 golden blonde or copper blonde, and you'll end up with exactly what you were hoping to achieve. 
To recap what we've learned today, in order to find the color that your hair will become when you apply the color to it, you want to add the level of your natural color to the level that you're hoping to achieve. Divide that by two and that number will give you the level of the hair color that you will end up with. Then look for the undertone of that color. And then finally, go to the color wheel and decide if you want to keep that undertone or counteract it to achieve your desired hair color. In later videos, what I'd like to do is show you how to lighten even a little further, but avoid brassiness. Often that means perhaps lightening not quite as light as you would like and then adding a few highlights. We will talk about that. Stay tuned. See you then. Bye.